why should I keep up my promise? Yes, we all make promises. Uh, we all promise something to someone. Maybe you can, you would have promised your friend, I will call you back in 10 minutes, or you would have promised your loved one, I will visit you this weekend. But so many times we don't take this promise seriously. We don't even, we just say it, we just say whatever comes out of our mouth and we don't even value it. But the Bible says in Proverbs 25, 14, uh, a person who promises a gift and does not give it is like clouds and wind that brings no rain. Yes, a promise is something that is so important to God. We see how each and every prophecy, each and every promise that is given in the Bible comes to pass. And as you are a child of God, the Lord expects you also to keep up your promises. I, I I uh, read a book about a husband and wife who were very close, who loved each other so much. Within a few years, the husband had a brain tumor, was diagnosed with a brain tumor and he passed away. And the wife was so heartbroken. They were just recently married and she was just 30 years old. But the husband loved his wife so much that for a span of three to four years, he had written her letters and gifts that uh, used to come to her every month or uh, through some other person or through some other uh, through a mailbox and it used to help her become a better person the husband had promised her that he is going to help her become a better person during his lifetime and even though he died he held on to his promise he held on to the word that he gave in the same way you also try to keep up your promises sometimes it is out of our control sometimes it may not be under your control that is okay but as long as you can as much as you can try to hold on to your promise if you have promised your loved one that you will give them something that you're going to help them in some way try fulfilling that promise and God will surely be happy so fulfill a promise that you have promised someone today and let us know how it goes